Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. Link broke out of this triangle to the upside and is following our yeah forecasted wave count, suggested wave count. Actually one of the winners today, if I look at the watch list here, um, Link with over 5%, definitely one of the winners here and certainly not a boring weekend for for Link. Uh, I still have my, my grid bot running here for the current range because um, it became quite evident that this is going to be quite a long correction and one that will be characterized by frequent ups and downs in a larger range, possibly all the way up to 1830. So if Link pushes a little higher, uh, then I will switch my grid bot off and we'll see if it comes down lower again to switch it back on. Um, I don't want to have it run all the way down to, I don't know, the orange box. So we'll see. Um, at the moment, it likes the range and the price development is very uh, profitable. The idea is still that Link is in a, in a fourth wave. That would be my primary scenario that we're simply working here on an ABC structure where the A wave to the downside, that was a three wave move. The B wave to the upside is likely also a three wave move in which the A wave was completed. The B wave was completed at, as this Elliott wave triangle. And then we had confirmation of the breakout with a break above $15.40 mentioned that in the last videos and I highlighted to you that if we get above that level, then um, the next FIP levels are here $15.73, $16.14 and $16.61, possibly all the way up to $18.31. We can actually add some more FIP levels here and I've got the 1.236 it should be. It doesn't really matter if you use the 272 or 236, they're very close together anyway. Uh, and possibly, no, that should be it, um, yeah, point one point, um, yeah, that should be okay. So they are the, the levels to watch really 1661, 1764, and even 1830. Not sure if we go all the way up there, right? Um, but what we can identify is that the move to the downside was three waves. If that's the case, then typically the move to the upside that follows would also be um, a three wave move yeah? and quite aggressive typically assuming we are still in the correction. Yeah, and the A wave was done, the B wave as triangle, and now the C wave unfolding. That should be a five wave move. I cannot clearly recognize a subwave structure here. So we need to operate on a higher time frame. And um, yeah, what we can also do is to use the Fibonacci extensions. So what we do is we calculate a target four wave C in B by using Fibonacci extensions. So what we can do, we take the length of that A wave there go to the low of the B wave, which is the end of the triangle. Yeah, we don't take the lowest point of the triangle, we take the end of the triangle, which is the E wave, okay? And uh, that is when the B wave ended. And that's what we can use to track um, targets. So it reacted to the 61.8 extension level here, okay? Um, but the key target that I would watch for is at $17.05. That's the 100% extension level. So I would pay attention to that level. I will leave that on the chart as well, because that's typically a level that a C wave aims to reach for, yeah, tries to get to. And um, it's not always super reliable, you know, but it's certainly one of the levels that we should add here to the Fibonacci retracements, because this is really a target projection. Um, and it's also sort of, yeah, pretty much just above the previous high. We'll see. Um, Certainly at the moment, as long as we only have really a corrective structure here and it still looks corrective, I'm assuming this is just a B wave. But as I said from the beginning, you know, I cannot rule out that this is already already the fifth wave in the making. Um, but because of that, exactly because of that uncertainty, I let the grid bot take care of it. Um, otherwise, you have to spend a lot of time trying to observe the chart all the time and so on. Um, Either way, anybody who entered, let's say for buy and hold in the fifth wave could have just bought here when it hit the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level for the first time at $12.88, which was the, let's say, minimum requirement for wave four to be completed. That's why we have these boxes on the chart. They can generate some really nice swings. But at the moment, my primary scenario, what I'm still leaning to is um, that somewhere here, maybe around $17, yeah, we see a rejection and the price comes down in wave C of four, possibly targeting $11. That would be the ideal target for a fourth wave, but we cannot really say that with clarity until we have a top in place 
for wave B. If at any point now the price breaks down below the end of the smaller B wave, basically the end of the triangle at um, $14.23, that would indicate that a top is in place in the larger B wave and that we're actually coming down in this larger C wave targeting, yeah, possibly $11. Very important is to understand that on the link chart, um, the key support is $9.75. So yeah, while the price could go down that much, ideally it doesn't even go down that much. I did say from the beginning that we wanna leave it space all the way down to $9.50. So I'm tracking an overall bullish structure here, this five wave diagonal potentially. Um, and I wanna give the fourth wave space all the way down to $9.50 because then um, that is the previous breakout point, right? Of this, uh, out of this so-called forever range on the link chart. And this range falling back into the range would certainly have bearish implications and would definitely threaten um, a breakout really. Yeah? So we need to see still those five waves to have more clarity that we are in something, uh, a more bullish structure, let's say medium term, long term. Um, but we have to give the price all the space down to $9.50. And looking at it again from a timing point of view, look at how long the wave two took. That was one and, a half, one and a half months at the moment, the wave four, maybe it's already complete, but then it would have only taken really a couple of weeks, which is actually a little bit too short time-wise. And I would like to see a more extended wave four. Um, but because the B wave can overshoot due to the three wave structure in A, yeah, we have to be prepared for a little bit more upside in the short term. And also um, I gave you the key level obviously to watch, which is the end of the triangle. What you can do as well, is to watch the 50% retracement level as micro support. That would be um, a somewhat reliable short-term support level that will tell you soon if things are changing on this chart. So that's at $15.06. So ideally, or to focus on higher short-term, the price needs to hold $15 now, okay? Yeah, that's my update about LINK. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links for those channels in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.